So I got the idea of this solar tracker design from a YouTuber, Chuff Chuff Wu. And basically the idea is have two solar panels on one on each side and then they're connected to a DC motor and positive to positive, negative to negative. But then on the other solar panel, the negative would be con connected to the positive and the positive will be connected to the negative. So it's sort of like reverse. And the idea is when, say this is the sun, when the sun is facing this way, because it is shining on one side of the solar panel, there will be movement. The uh, solar panel will move so it is facing the sun directly. And when it is in the middle position, the voltage will be equalized because, because it is neither this side or the other side, you can put sort of like a shade in between the two or space the two panels apart. So there will be no more movement. But when the sun moves again, say to this position, this side will be getting more energy and will be energized. And then the solar tracker will be moved again to the middle position and then it will stop and then when the sun moves again it will try to do the same thing I think that's that's the idea since I am planning to use this with my solar cooker I don't need an up and down tilting uh, option all I need is a side to side movement now whether this will succeed or not will probably depend on the motor that I'm using. I think the idea probably works because it worked for him. Uh, of course it might not work for me if I don't have a strong enough solar panel or a strong enough motor. But uh, we'll find out. So I'm going to check the voltage of the tap cells. They're supposed to be half a volt and 3.5 amps when it is under the sun. So I'm just going to shine a uh, LED light on it. So I'm getting the voltage that I need. So it should work. So here I am trying to finish soldering up the connections. To see here. That's the front. Enclosure here. So that would be one panel of one and a half.